Okay, in this tutorial for new Blender users, I'm going to show you some of the tricks that I use for just setting keyframes on an object and moving it. Because right at the outset, when I first started using Blender, it always never seemed to move quite the way I wanted. And it's really pretty simple after you set it. So to set a keyframe, I'll just move this object over here. On the timeline, I'm down here at frame 1. And so I'm just going to use a location keyframe along Y. So I'm just going to press I and then click location. So I've set a keyframe and it, there it's set there. And then maybe I'll go up to a frame, oh I don't know, let's say 60. And then at frame 60 I'll move it over to here. And then I'll also press I. And there I've set another keyframe. I can jump back and forth with my, my up and down arrow keys from one keyframe to the next. So let's just run it with Alt A or you could press the arrow key here, the play button. And it just goes in and it stops. But it let's now let's go look at its what it's actually doing with the graph editor. Let's open up a new window here and grab the graph editor and look in close. And here's the keyframe. It's starting down here. This is if I click this I can see it's the Y Y is green, right? So here is green and it starts down here. Here's its position down here's this time this position at negative I don't know, maybe about negative 4 where it's sitting from the center. Let's see, there would be negative 1, 2, 3, not quite, neg not quite negative 4. And then you can see it kind of ramps up smoothly and then ramps off like that. So, but then it, so it takes a while to get up to speed. And maybe if you want it just to go to, at a consistent speed, then you can come down here to this channel and come up here to the extrapolation mode like this and just make it linear extrapolation. And then your keyframe is going to just be straight. So when it starts off and I run it, it starts at one speed and it ends at one speed all the way through. And I just keep actually it just keeps going because I've extrapolated it all the way out. All right, so I'm going to Control Z that back to here. And then another way that I typically work is, and this is really useful. Sometimes you want things to oscillate back and forth. So down in here, since I have already two keyframes set like this, now I'll go look at the graph editor a little bit closer now. I'll just I'm holding down the shift key and just with my wheel mouse held I can move around in the scene and then with the scroll with the wheel mouse I'll just zoom in like that to here. So then you can click and select just like you do in regular edit mode here. If I right click that suddenly I've selected that keyframe. If I right click that like this, or you could press A twice, like that, deselect, then select them all. And that's a really great way if you want to get rid of keyframes. So if you just press X in this window, you can delete all the keyframes. That's a lot simpler than going through with the menu up here. So you can come up here with this menu and you can delete keyframes also down in here individually. Where is it? Somewhere up in there. Keyframes. But this is easier down in here. But let's make this oscillate back and forth. And the way I would do this is I already have this keyframe set down here and this keyframe here. So I'm just going to grab this one down here and I'm going to grab this button right here. Click it. It's a copy. This is copy. That's paste. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to move this over. So I went 60 frames. So I'm going to move up to frame 120 in here. And then I'm just going to paste it. So then I've copied that frame so now it's doing this nice smooth curve and if I wanted to oscillate back and forth then I can come up here to channel and I can do the extrapolation mode and I can instead of doing linear extrapolation I can just do make cyclic like that and suddenly have that little curve looks like a sine wave right and then when we run it start back here it'll just continually back and forth back and forth as it goes. Alright, so pretty simple trick and pretty useful for a lot of applications. And that's it for this lesson. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.